How's it going everybody? John McLennan here and in today's video I'm going to teach you how to play Happy Together as recorded by the Turtles on guitar. This is a really fun song to practice on guitar. We're going to use a capo on the second fret and play the verse of the song in the key of E minor and then for the chorus we're going to change keys. We're going to go to the key of E major. But before we get started I want to hook you up with something right away. At the first link down below I've got an exclusive guitar training series. And these are some videos that are not on YouTube that come with tabs and sheet music and everything you need to help take your playing to the next level. So check that out as my gift to you. And with that said, let's break this song down. Let's break down how to play Happy Together as recorded by the Turtles on guitar. The first thing you want to do is put a capo on the second fret. And the verse progression is going to start on an E minor chord. So I'll be saying these chords, I'll be saying like E minor and D and C and B7, chords like that. But again, of course, the concert pitch would be like F sharp minor to E and then to D and then C sharp seven. But just for all practical purposes here, I'll just be saying the capo chords. Let's start off with the intro. We're gonna hold down an E minor chord. And what I've done is kind of combine some of these parts with a really cool kind of hybrid picking part. So we're gonna take this melody, which is what one of the guitars is doing. and combine that with a palm muted kind of E minor chord down here. So it's gonna sound like this. So you can play one of these parts or you can play both part parts, whichever is comfortable for you. So the top line is doing this. I'm playing two notes here, the open second string and the third fret on the first string and I'm going that's three, two, zero. And I'm, I'm getting two notes there. And then both those notes again, and then the third fret of the second string back to the open strings. The rhythm is one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four and. Then if you can, we're gonna hold down this E minor chord and do a palm muted strum like one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And I'm kind of using some pressure and release on the chord to make it have like a little staccato feel. So that's both parts together. Then we start the verse and that sounds like this. So we've got a eight bar progression here with each chord lasting two bars. We're gonna start on E minor, then go to D, then go to C, and then B7. So that's one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, switch, two, three, four, switch, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, C, two, three, four, then B7. Now I was doing a palm muted quarter note strum like this. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, one. Again, a little bit of that pressure and release with the chord. And then here you can let up the palm muting. Kind of build back into the E minor. So the basic groove there is one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, but sometimes when I change chords, I'll go like four and one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Or it could be in the middle as well, like one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four, and one, two, three, four. Then I might do something like this. Then we go to the chorus, which is a key change. So we're gonna go to the key of E major instead of E minor. 
which is a cool change. So what I did there was two, two, zero, starting on the fifth string. Zero, then three, two on the sixth string, then to an E chord. So you're on the B7, three, four, one, and two, three, four, four. Then we're into the chorus. Now the chorus section goes like this. A one, two, three, four. So this is a four bar chord progression that's repeated twice. We're gonna go E for a bar, and then to B minor seven, which is second fret, fourth fret, second fret, third fret, second fret. So it's like a minor bar chord, but I take that pinky off to make it a seventh. Back to E. And then finally, the last chord is G. So one, two, Back to the verse. Da, da, da. Back to the uh, minor, E minor there. Now, with the strumming here on the chorus, I did change up the pattern. The, the basic groove there could be something like this. So that's two quarter notes, one, two, and then two eighth notes, three, and, and then one quarter note, four. So one, two, three, and four. So let's play the whole thing. We're gonna start with the intro, then we'll go to the verse, which is 16 bars, then we'll play an eight bar chorus. We'll be on that G, and then we'll, let's go back to the, the intro for the ending, and we'll just go. And on E minor at the end of the, the intro there, or the re-intro. So here it is from the top. A one, two, a one, two, three, four. Have fun practicing happy together. Be sure to go and play it along with the recording and that's gonna help you kinda hear how these parts come together and the different sections. Before you go, don't forget to get access to my guitar training series at the first link down below. This is gonna give you some sheet music and some tabs and everything you need to go along with these videos that are not on YouTube. So if you get value out of my lessons here on YouTube, you're gonna get a ton more value out of this exclusive content. As always, leave any song requests in the comments below let me know what song I should teach next here on the channel I'm posting brand new song lessons every single day so the songs are really starting to stack up and I want to make sure that I'm showing you the ones that you want to learn so let me know in the comments below thanks for your support here on the channel and we'll see you in the next video